Okay, day 24. And you know what that means. This time next week, mm -hmm, I'm going to be digging through some records and opening up my wallet. So, uh, yes, kind of back in the, th you know, getting these videos up early here. Um, here's day 23, Sly and the Family Stone. There's a riot going on. Uh, definitely make sure you check that out because, you know, between this, when I posted that video and when I'm going to post this one, there's only like eight hours in between. So, um, make sure you check that one out if you haven't already. So, uh, today, and I was kind of talking to Cool Ranch Dressing last night, was like, I totally knew you were going to show that record. So, uh, this one may be coming out a little bit out of left field, but that's good. That's what this is all about. Sort of enlightenment and uh, talking about stuff I haven't listened to for a long time or stuff that's been in the collection for quite a while and they mean quite a bit to me. So uh, <clears throat> today's video is going to be about this one right here. This is uh, Devendra Banhart with uh, Cripple Crow, which uh, happens to be Sam's favorite album of all time. <laughs> um, so this one has some pretty good stories behind it. Uh, actually, the cover of this is it's a little bit different than the CD one. The CD is more members of the band and everything like that. And I was actually a, I was actually a friend on with Devendra Banhart on MySpace at the time, and he had he had mentioned that they were pressing this up on vinyl. And if you had a picture of yourself, they were asking to send it. And then of course that's what's on the front cover, as well as the inside, which it's just all these people. And then the back covers, I believe, is sort of the same as what the CD is. So uh, definitely a really, really cool album. And the um, the vinyl pressing of this adds about eight more songs. The original album, I think, had about 22 songs, plus there was uh, White Reggae Troll and Africa, which was an MP3 track that was on the CD. Um, so they could, you know, because the CD is like 75 minutes long. It's a really, really long album. Um, but then they just, you know, pressed it up on two, which I think you Africa is the only one that's not on here, which is on one of the on the CD or for the for the bonus tracks, I guess, on the CD. So, um, but this came out in 2005, and my sister, uh, when she was in college, she had uh, she had mentioned to me that she had gone to a concert. I think it was in Cleveland. And uh, she's like, I saw Devendra Banhart, and he's this really weird guy. And, you know, she was like, he's probably somebody that you would enjoy. You know, Cause at that point, you know, I was kind of making a point to really listen to some strange stuff. I mean, I was, at that point, I was listening to Zappa just nonstop and, you know, Trap Mask Replica and stuff like that. And um, so she was like, you'll probably like this. And, um, I really didn't, you know, I really didn't take much from it. Um, you know, I didn't really, I mean, I, the name stuck in my head, but I really didn't, you know, go out and seek it out or anything like that. And then soon after, uh, there was a mojo that came out that had, this is probably, actually, it was, this album came out in September, and I think that mojo was, it, you know, it was here in the States by October. Uh, it has a Led Zeppelin on the cover, so I think it's like the October of 2005 issue. It was one of the very first ones that I bought. Um... But they had they had a big thing in there about Devendra Banhart, and I read it, and I was like, just man, this guy is just out there, you know. So um, I went, and uh, you know, I, I again, it was another one, you know, kind of had the mental thought of who he was, but I really didn't do anything until um, actually that uh, that April, I started working at a record store um, when I was in college, and at that point, they had like a promo copy of this that had just been sitting on the shelves since we got it in. And I was like, oh my god, there it is, you know what I mean? And I looked at the cover and it was just like, I was like, what is this? So, uh, you know, kind of everything kind of went together and, uh, you know, I listened to it and it just, I just would just listen to this album nonstop. I mean, it, it has some moments where, you know, there's some songs on here, it, it's just, all the songs are just completely different, just these just amazing soundscapes, just, you know, they, they, they take you on so many different journeys and... Uh, you know, it's one of the few things that, you know, one, one thing that I noticed with it was, there's a song on here, um, it's called, uh, what is it called? I just forgot it. Uh, it's called Heard Somebody Say, and it's, I heard somebody say that the war ended today, but everybody knows it's going still. And, um, 
it's sort of like a protest song and it's and it's one of the few like when i heard it i was like man nobody's talking about that there's no like you know it, it, at that point it was like it seemed like you know like toby keith and all that you know where they would they were singing songs about you know america and uh, you know you know of course you know how all those are you know the, forget even what the song is something about a cowboy boot i forget but um you know it didn't really seem like any music that i was listening to they're like popular music and i was listening to like my morning jacket at the time and all that and i just really didn't feel that there was like that um kind of that that protest nature nobody was talking about the war nobody was talking about you know the the state of things but this album really had it and it really you know kind of spoke to me you know there's just awesome songs in here i feel just like a child um some people ride the wave there's a song in there the it's called beatles and it's uh it's only like 15 seconds long, but uh, and I'll sing it for you. Paul McCartney and Ringo Starr are the only Beatles in the world. And then such and such. You know, th that's, that's how the song goes. Um, Cripple Crow, uh, Hey Mama Wolf, uh, How's About Telling a Story, Chinese Children. Uh, I could just go on and on. Pretty much, it's just a fantastic album, Inside and Out. Um, not too sure if it's... Uh, if it's still in print on vinyl, I really haven't seen it around or anything like that. I think I maybe picked this copy up maybe about two or three years ago, something like that. Uh, but, uh, of course, uh, one of Sam the Sham's favorite albums. So really, if you... Um, you know, this <laughs> this kind of goes against the grain a little bit. I know that uh, uh, Luke, one time he asked me, he's like, do you ever buy new music? And yes, I do. <laughs> I mean, uh, this of course, this is, you know, six years old, but... Uh, you know, who's who knows what I'd be showing in six years of, of as far as with the new music. That's kind of one thing I really want to, um, kind of excited about getting back into record, you know, the, the record digging again. Uh, I want to go to, there's a couple places that we have around here that, um, they kind of, you know, focus on new music. So, you know, there is some stuff that's kind of come out that I want to take a listen to and, of course, you know, get it on vinyl. So, there you go. Day 24, we are... On the downhill decline, we have less than a week to go, so it's going to be fantastic. So we will see you tomorrow. So take care.